Hey everybody, Dr. LeGrand here, and today we're going to be talking about the best ADHD supplements I currently use with ADHD. And the, the, the complication, I think, when people are trying to use supplements with their ADHD, not one ADHD person is the same. And so what I did is I took several different case studies and kind of broke it down to based off of the current symptoms, because some people deal with ADHD differently than others. So I'm going to do my best to kind of just give you case studies of patients that I've worked and done testing extensively to identify what are going to be the best supplements specifically for you. So hopefully this can resonate to all of you guys here on the live stream. So very first off, let's talk about if you are someone that is exhausted and unfocused. And this is very common with people with adults with ADHD significantly. So if you're in this category, definitely pay attention. So with this case, like a patient I had, the thing that I want to look for when someone tells me that they're exhausted and they're unfocused, my brain thinks of, okay, let's do some further investigation before we implement any kind of treatment or supplementation to understand really what's going on. So a couple things that I will do is look at cortisol because cortisol has a lot to do with our energy and stress levels. And so in this case, this person's cortisol levels was really, really low all throughout the day. Um, you know, that's a problem when it's just completely depleted throughout the entire day, even the morning, afternoon, evening, and even at night, like this person was just completely burnt out, exhausted, and they couldn't focus, they couldn't be productive. Um, so this might be you. The other thing is also test micronutrients that also can contribute to the exhaustion fatigue situation. This person, uh, what came back was low vitamin D levels. So there's also several other micronutrients that you could test like magnesium, zinc, all different vitamins, minerals, amino acids. But in this case, you know, this person had low vitamin D. So what do I do in this case? What are the best supplements specifically for this person? If you're in this kind of category, it would be to really address the adrenal situation. First off, using something like adrenal desiccated. And I usually like to doing it first thing in the morning and then first thing um, also at midday. So right when you wake up, I have people take it right at their nightstand, set it there before they hit the snooze button again, take the supplement, and that will help you actually get up next time the snooze button goes, I mean, the snooze alarm goes off or snooze alarm, the alarm goes off. So, and then at mid-afternoon is kind of hit that mid-afternoon crash. Now the thing is, is typically I will do this for maybe about three months just to boost the adrenals. Um, don't want to be dependent on this, but also I like to alternate with Drenamin, which is another a supplement by standard process that is a different form of adrenal support. That way your body doesn't get adapted too much to the adrenal desiccated. And it's just something you use temporarily just to get to a point where your adrenal starts supporting itself. And then of course, if you're dealing with low vitamin D, you're going to supplement usually when you're this low, about 10,000 IUs. And especially if you have low vitamin K2, you might want to supplement that along with that because it absorbs better and uh, you certainly don't want to do it too high. But when you're really, really low, it's something you're definitely going to want to supplement that can help with the exhaustion, the unfocused situation. Okay. Now, next one. If you're someone that's dealing with gas, bloating, and brain fog with your ADHD, so you might have some digestive issues, this is where you're going to want to kind of really dive into the digestive piece of things. Because the gut and brain are very interconnected, and it's something I see a very common problem with a lot of people with ADHD, that they have tend to have gut issues, and their gut is not working optimally. So if that's you, then it would be good to further investigate your gut flora. In this case, with this patient, had a lot of imbalanced flora. And so in this case, you're going to want to start implementing specific probiotics that will target these different types of flora to help improve that. Because... Gut flora is really important for actually building a lot of our neurotransmitters. In fact, 90 to 95% of our neurotransmitters are actually made in the gut, a lot of them. So a lot of people don't think about this, but that's how vital the gut is. That's how vital it is for our own ADHD brain. And taking a step further, when you're dealing with gas and bloating, I'm usually thinking, okay, what's going in in, in the stomach, the digestive lining, right? And this usually has to do a lot with stomach acidity. So if it's too low or if it's too high, and this is why looking at like usually like pH levels. So, you know, a lot of times I will see people that have my like 8.0 um, where their stomach acidity is uh, too low and they're more alkaline. So when anytime I like to see this between 6.0 to 6.4 when I'm testing people's um, acid levels in their stomach. And so this is really, really critical and key for helping breaking down your foods. Because if you're running really alkaline, you want to be adding something like 
betaine HCL and pepsin, as well as pancreatic enzymes to help digest the macronutrients. Because if you're, everything starts in the gut. If it isn't breaking down your foods, guess what? It's not going to feed the brain. It's not going to feed the body. And therefore, it doesn't matter what you're implementing, what supplements you're taking. If you haven't addressed the digestive situation, you're going to have problems no matter what supplement you're taking. In fact, you're not going to be absorbing it, utilizing it, or even the foods that you're consuming to help improve your HD health. You need to be addressing this significantly. Okay. Now, what if you are someone that can't focus and you're not motivated? There's a lot of people in this category. And so what I like to do is to investigate, okay, what are some maybe certain neurotransmitters and amino acids that build those specific neurotransmitters that could be out of balance. So in this case, this person, his PA levels were elevated. I know if you guys have been watching me for a while, typically we see these low, but sometimes I'll see this and use this because there's a digestive situation going on. They're not breaking down and utilizing it. But also this person had low tyrosine levels, low dopamine levels, low dopac, which is a breakdown of dopamine. And so what do you do in this case? What are the best supplements to be implementing when you're someone, and this is usually when people can't focus and are not motivated, I usually will see this particularly. And I love Dopa Boost. And I usually don't always use a combo supplement because a lot of times they don't have everything that I want to implement or there's certain things in the combo supplement that might be doing a negative impact that I don't want them to be taking. So I sometimes will, like especially in this case, because it has vitamin B6, has N-acetyltyrosine to help with the tyrosine levels, has macuna perunes to help build the dopamine levels, and green tea extract that also help with dopamine and dopac. So that is why I would be using something like Dopa Boost when I see these numbers on the neurotransmitter test. Next one, um, you know, there's also a possibility where the PA levels are low, but guess what? Your tyrosine and dopamine levels are fine. So in this person, this patient I was working with their levels were fine as far as dopamine and tyrosine. And so it's like, okay, there's not a problem there, but where the problem lies is PA. And so PA is a break is a precursor to the dopamine pathway. It's the very beginning step and it's something that I see more of a problem than a low dopamine situation. So what do we do in this situation? The best supplement for this person. And they got a huge difference. Even for me, like that's where I was at. I had low dopamine, but not, a dop uh, sorry, I had low PA levels, but not low dopamine levels. And so when I supplemented him for just myself, the it made a huge difference. Helped me really just have more of the motivation and focus, but also it also helped a lot with my memory where I wasn't having, forgetting anytime I went on my phone, it's like, oh, what was I doing? What was I supposed to be doing? Where was I going? Like we all have those moments. And as I was taking this, and I still do now, I don't have those moments, which is awesome. So th this is why it's so critical when you're trying to find the best supplements for you to actually investigate and test to see what's going on here, that is going to make all the difference. So let's move on. Let's move on to some other symptoms. So maybe you're someone that's depressed and have no drive with your ADHD. This happens a lot too. Some people have depression and no drive, and that is along with their ADHD symptoms. So with this patient, what I usually will typically find when people are having these kinds of symptoms, they're going to have low norepinephrine and low epinephrine levels, as well as low serotonin levels. Because serotonin is what is the happy neurotransmitters, what makes us feel happy. And so when we see them low, usually that's gonna be someone who's very more depressed and no drive. Same with low norepinephrine and epinephrine, because it also manages for stress. So in this case, what do we? What are the best supplements for this type of case for this person with their ADHD? That's gonna be 5-HTP, because 5-HTP is what helps build serotonin. Okay. Also L-tryptophan. Tryptophan helps build serotonin. You see where I'm getting at? This is why it's very critical to look at what's out of balance and looking at the neurotransmitter pathway. So this is the serotonin neurotransmitter pathway that you can understand what is out of balance. And that's what you're going to find that's actually going to work for you. And it's going to be the best supplement for you. L-theanine is something that I use specifically a lot for norepinephrine and epinephrine because when these levels are low, it helps improve increasing those levels. Even rhodiola, which is another one I like doing use too, so I didn't put it on here, but that is another one that I will use to also increase norepinephrine and epinephrine as well as serotonin levels. So those are all really great. Okay, now what if you are someone that has anxiety, agitated, and you're unfocused? So 50% of people with HD tend to have general anxiety disorder. So that might be you. So in this case, what happens is what I see, and this is the patient I had too, and felt exactly like this, their dopamine levels were high. They're in the red, really too high. 
So, and he was on medication. And what does stimulant medication do? It increases your dopamine. So this is why the stimulant medication was actually making things worse for him. When he was taking it, he felt anxious, agitated, stressed all the time. So when we ran this test, it's like, okay, clearly, you know, either you need to break, slow down, cut back on the dose, work with your prescribing doctor, figure that out. And so they did. And also I used more supportive treatment because other things that were also out of balance here was his epinephrine to help manage the stress. And um, his serotonin levels were also elevated. That also can make you very feel stressed and agitated. And I believe if I remember, yeah, this person also was on an antidepressant, which also increases serotonin. So that's not a good situation. Um, this is why he was feeling really out of whack. He couldn't focus. He was stressed all the time. He was worried about he's going to lose his job. And so what do we do in this situation? If you are someone that feels stress, anxiety, and agitated all the time and are unfocused, L-theanine is another great one. We've already talked about that because that's going to help address the spiked serotonin, but also helps with the spiked dopamine levels. Same with rhodiola, same thing. That's why I love about L-theanine rhodiola because it has those adaptogenic effects on these different types of neurotransmitters, as well as low epinephrine. Whether it's high or low, it helps. it's really a good modulator that helps bring it down or brings it up when it needs to. B-complex is also going to be another vital one because if you look at the neurotransmitter pathway here, P5P, P5P, P5P is the activated form of vitamin B6. And you can see it's like almost in every single step process here and also other B vitamins to help in building these neurotransmitters. And this is why I do typically see a lot of people with ADHD. When we run their micronutrient tests, we see a lot of different B vitamins that are deficient. We should know which ones those are. And so that can make a huge difference in when you're feeling like this. Okay. Now, what if you have mood swings and you're confused and have bad memory? Well, what I think of, especially when there's mood swings and you're confused all the time and even feeling, you know, having bad memory, like I'm thinking of also other hormones. And so in this case, you know, there's two different case studies here. One is when I checked for, for a female, using uh, this one, they had low progesterone levels and they had elevated DGA levels. In this case, the male had low DGA levels. So what do we do in this situation? We'll add some natural progesterone cream to help increase the progesterone levels. And that can really help with mood and mood swings. DGA is a precursor to estradiol and testosterone. So you want to use it as a preventative measure. And that also can help with that. Now, usually when there's spiked DHEA, this usually has to do with more of a stress response. So in this case, this person, if you remember from the very first case, uh, looking at cortisol, their cortisol levels were definitely uh, out of balance. And so we had to manage that to help with managing the DHE levels. So it's all really important. So if you are someone that would like to know this information, to be able to understand really what's going on with your HC, especially if you experience any of these kind of symptoms, to know what are the best supplements for you, then it really requires further investigation, understanding really what is the root cause of these problems for you so you know exactly what to implement. And so it requires further investigation. So what I would like to do is offer you a consultation with me where I can figure out what would be the best type of testing to implement. What would be the best action plan to put together so you can actually finally tackle your ADHD health and have that optimal focused mind and that optimal health that you're seeking for. And so, you know, I spent well over $500,000 in medical school and continuing education to figure this out. Now you don't need to do that. I already did the heavy lifting for you. And you also, I don't want you wasting money. Over the years, research has shown that people with HD, when they don't treat it correctly, will waste over a million dollars in their lifetime from poor decisions, not being productive, losing jobs. And I certainly don't want that to be one of you. And so what I'm offering is a 45 minute consultation with me. It's $750 value. Uh, also, along with it, we do a Focus Mind in-depth questionnaire. That's $197 value. I also include if you buy today, you get access to my HD health course, that $297 value. So or $1,000 value, and you get it all for just $297. Still the deal. And so all you got to do is just click the link in the description below. Once you have clicked on the link, it will take you here to purchase. And then once you've purchased, you will pick your date and time. And once you've done that, you fill out your information. And then the next step, it will take you to this landing page. Now, this is really important. Very, very important. A lot of you guys forget this when you guys are booking a consultation. But this page is really important because you need to check your confirmation appointment. Make sure you got that. If you didn't, email me. Um, uh, it's provided in when you actually are checking out. It has that there. And then also, you should get a second email that gives you access to the online client portal. So you'll activate your uh, Practice Better account, which is our online client portal. That is where you're going to fill out the client questionnaire 
very in-depth and thorough. So I know exactly what I need to look over that before we meet. So I know exactly what testing to recommend based off your medical history. And after meeting with you, that's when we're going to determine what kind of testing is going to be the best. And then um, upload any past labs in the past year. I know it says two years, two years here, but I would say one year, uh, just standard labs. Any standard labs that you've gotten for your doctor, you can upload that. Uh, it doesn't matter if you don't, if you don't have any, that's fine. But if you have any that I can look over, that'd be great. Um, and then show up early and block out 45 minutes to an hour. That's going to be really important to implement. Okay. So if you really want to really tackle your ADHD and want my help, then book that consultation in the description below to get that steal of the deal discount. Uh, thank you guys so much for attending and I'll see you guys in the next live stream. Thanks. Bye.